Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So 2024 was the 20th year that Canova has bred ball pythons. So some of you may remember it as Jacob Elka Reptiles. We're 20 years strong on this amazing journey. And today I wanna to share with you the most influential combos we've ever made. So we're gonna start from number 10 all the way down to one. And these are not the craziest combos or even maybe the most beautiful. These are the ones that had the biggest impact on the ball python world. And it really changed the combos that we collectively went for in directions with these different mutations. So starting at number 10 is the confusion puzzle. I've never been super strong in the puzzle project, but in 2021, a gamble paid off and the confusion puzzle was born. This combo I think is gonna be one of the best and most influential in puzzles going forward. Puzzle is an amazing project and there's so many different directions you can go, but it seems like confusion is gonna be one of the great ones. So far we've made leopard confusion puzzles, spot nose confusion puzzles, and you're getting so much crazy deep contrast and pattern. We love this project. Number nine is the Desert Ghost Clown Pie. In 2022, we hit a big milestone, not just for us, but for the whole industry in combining the three biggest recessives ever. The Desert Ghost, the Clown, and the Pie. This was a big milestone for us because it had been a long-term project and we were really racing other people in the industry trying to see what this amazing animal would look like. And it didn't disappoint. We managed to hit a Desert Ghost Clown Pie that was 100% het hypo and it became a springboard to, I think all the future Clown Pie combos need to be Desert Ghost to be their maximum color and just beauty. It actually led into early 2023, we actually made the Quad, the Hypo DG Clown Pie, which was even better and the NG DG clown pied and soon on the channel we'll be unveiling the OD and the ODYV DG clown pieds. It's a wonderful project with tons of future potential. Coming in number eight, in 2020, we made the Kraken. The Kraken was the beginning of the Wookiee craze in clowns, and it has been an amazing, amazing project. It was just really shocking to me how the GHI, Black Pastel, and Wookiee really interacted into this really crazy looking animal that looked like an octopus with sucker spots all over its body. That was the Kraken 1.0, which led us into the next year making the Kraken 2.0, and then the Kraken 3.0, which are all different variations of of the Wookiee GHI Black Pastel Clown combos. And they were absolutely transformational. It really put Wookiee on the map in a lot of ways, and it showed us a brand new direction to go with the Clown Project. For number seven, it's the Xanthic Desert Ghost Clown. Now this is another one that's mostly future potential, but is another giant milestone. Three amazing recessives put together, the Desert Ghost, the Xanthic VPI Xanthic, and the Clown. Turned out absolutely amazing. You have a bone white with black markings. It's beautiful, beautiful clown. What's most influential about it is it, it turned out being absolutely better than we ever expected, but even more so, it will be all future combos. Every amazing clowns, whether it be the Krakens or the Pompeys or the Confusions, they will be amazing in the Xanthic Desert Ghost versions. This is a huge one for the future, guys. Now for number six, the Dark Knight. It was 2018, it was storming outside, and we hatched the very first Dark Knight. It was a really crazy combo. I remember seeing the very first picture of it in the eggs. It looked to me like a tiger salamander. It was an amazing little animal. I couldn't figure out why the spot nose chocolate clown was so amazing. It had such a crazy effect. Couldn't explain it, but it really ignited my interest in the chocolate in general. And just a couple years later, that led to the super chocolate clowns and the rest is history. Following years, we found out that the the reason why they were so crazy looking is because spot nose and chocolate ended up proving allelic, as did Wookie. So Wookie, chocolate, spot nose all are in the same complex, all create these really wild patterns together, and the Dark Knight was the beginning of that discovery. All right guys, the top five is coming up next, but I wanted to let you know that to commemorate our 20th anniversary, we have all new merch in our store, including this 20th anniversary shirt that was designed by Adeline Robinson. She did an amazing job, guys. So head over to shop.canovareptiles.com and pick yours up now. For number five, it's gonna be the Starburst. Now, I was really tempted to put a dream sickle here as number five, because we were actually the second in the world to hatch a dream sickle, which is really one of the most influential combos of all time. But that wasn't our creation. That was started by Ralph Davis Reptiles. The Starburst is a very special link in that chain because it revolutionized the lavender albino. The original Starburst we made was an inchy leopard blackhead lavender, and it blew our minds at how pink and beautiful it was. We had no idea the crazy effect that 
and she would have in the lavender, especially with a couple dark combos. And you guys know where this is going. This led into all the crazy, crazy next generation dream sickles with those same genes. Inchi, leopard, blackhead, confusion, yellow belly. This changed the ball python world forever in one of the most iconic combos, the dream sickle. In 2018, we hit our fourth most influential combo of all time. This is the Sumapide. The Sumapide is the combination of the super mahogany with the piebald, and it gave us our first crack at a black and white pied with no potential health issues. Panda pieds were already super popular on the market, but people could not figure out a good way to make them without making the super black pastel or super cinnamon, which has health issues associated. So early on, I started that long process of getting the Suma, which is an all black snake, into the pie ball, and it took a really long time. Finally managed to make our first Suma pied in 2018, and it was an amazing animal. Now, even that animal, as transformational as it was, was just a stepping stone because it was still not quite fully black and white, but some more tinkering with it. We added black pastel into the Suma plus yellow belly, and we came up with the Oreo Pied. It's given us that full black and white pied look with no side effects, no downsides, and it's an absolutely transformational combo. Coming in at number three, we have the Batman. The Batman really changed the course of clowns just completely threw it on its head and it was all because of the discovery made by Ben Rennick of the spot nose clown. When I saw the spot nose clown made by Ben I was so impressed at how beautiful and busy and crazy it was and at the time I was known for making the very first leopard clown combos and so I just had to combine the leopard and spot nose clown and even I didn't know how crazy a pattern it would look. It completely threw the whole clown project on its head and led to almost a decade of brand new Batman combos some of which have been absolutely wild. For number two is the Pompeii. The Pompeii is one of the craziest and most beautiful clowns ever produced, and it stood the test of time from 2017 until probably sometime last year when we were finally able to add some more genes and actually top the combo. It stood alone as one of the best combos in the clowns ever made. It was actually the result of the creation of the Red Stripe Clown Project, which we started here at Canova the same year. We made a few Red Stripe Clown combos, but it was the Pompeii that really lit that whole project on fire and just Almost overnight, the whole industry sold out of Red Stripe as it became a key part of the clown world from then on. The Pompeii is made up of the Red Stripe, Yellow Belly, Black Pastel, Spot Nose, Clown. It was the first four gene clown combo and it was just crazy. And it's actually very transformational, mostly because of the Spot Nose, Yellow Belly interaction. And then Black Pastel added a lot, Red Stripe added a lot, but the Spot Nose, Yellow Belly interaction ended up being the bedrock for almost every crazy clown combo we've seen since then, whether it be adding the confusion or the redhead or the GHI it led into the crack and stuff. It was all because of that spot nose yellow belly combination and black pastel and red stripe throwing in the mix and it just changed the whole world. For number one, we're gonna go all the way back to 2008. Only four years into my ball python breeding journey, we hatched the yellow belly pied. Now this was a big, big milestone for us because it was the very first pied with an incomplete dominant other than pastel. And it was a really, really cool and transformational moment to see that crazy pixelation and see that original animal in the egg. It really changed a lot. So what the yellow belly pied showed us was that we could make these really crazy bright orange pied combos, which before we had never seen anything like that and to this day that is where all the best pied combos lie. A few years later in 2015 we made the very first orange dream pied. It was the ODYB pied and it was crazy orange. We couldn't believe it. We thought it couldn't be any better than that until in 2017 we made the ODYB clown pied. And then in 2020, the super ODYV clown pied. So you can see the progression from just showing that, hey, these pieds can be bright orange and we can really manipulate the pattern and make them amazing. And then starting to layer on, going as far that direction as possible. Now we have the Desert Ghost versions and the Desert Ghost clown pied versions. It's an amazing thing to look all the way back to the beginning and say, this animal put an idea in our head and that idea can grow to be in an incredible world of combinations later on that go down that same path. 
All right, guys, so I'm so grateful to be a part of this industry for so long and to have been part of the foundation for so many of these amazing projects. It's been an incredible journey to kind of watch them over the past 20 years and to have been involved in adding creative outputs to this world that we can all enjoy together. Thanks so much for watching and let me know in the comments if any of these snakes really influenced your ball python journey or if we missed one that was the catalyst for your specific collection that you absolutely fell in love with. I'd love to hear about it below. So let me know in the comments and I look forward to talking to you next week.